So it's start pulling, right? We need a basket to put on foraging. He's gonna get all silly because there's so lots of smells in here. Um I might take one of these bowls actually. Oh and then we need to go in this shed over here. This way, go on Minnie. He's getting really excited because he doesn't know where we're going. I need some plant type scissors. I'm sure there's a proper name for that. I don't know. Some scissors, they'll, maybe they'll do. So this area here, you can see there's loads of plants here and there's quite a lot of foraging stuff in here which they, the animals can eat. So here Vinny is. It's right next to our pond actually. So I'm gonna see what I can find down here. Why are you trying to go in the pond? <laughs> There's a massive amount of lemon balm here, and then we also have some mint down here, which has been growing the last few years. So I think it's like spearmint, I'm not sure, it's a, t a certain type of mint. And there's a fair bit of that growing all the way up here as well. That's all mint, and what else have we got growing? Um, there was something else. Oh, yeah this massive fennel plant so yeah they can eat this as well and you can really tell like it's fennel it's like if you rub your hands against the leaves it's like and you can also see that's what they look like and it definitely smells of like fennel seed so I'm gonna pick some of that for them it's a really big plant actually look at all that that should keep them going for a while with all of this there's a little bit of marjoram growing here as well. We've got loads down the garden, but there's just a, little, a random little bit growing here, so I'll pick that as well. This right here is yarrow and you've got to be really careful uh, that it is yarrow and it's not um, hemlock because well yarrow looks a little bit like cow parsley and cow parsley is similar to hemlock and hemlock is toxic so I know this is definitely yarrow because the leaves are very feathery like this and I actually have an identification guide on my website which I will link below if you guys are new to foraging you're not sure like exactly what things are i'd recommend checking that out just so you know to be on the safe side but this is definitely arrow you can see we have some lavender growing and it's kind of obvious what lavender is like because it's so strong with, with the smell and the little purple flowers here there they are. So I'll pick a little bit of this for them. This right here is a strawberry plant. I'll pick maybe a little bit for the gerbils and hamster. I don't want to pick too much because it's quite nice growing along here. I'll just pick maybe a few leaves. You can see right here is some rosemary as well. So I've just collected some rosemary too.
at the size difference between our biggest guinea pig and our smallest guinea pig. <laughs> hey Roxy, are you coming to eat something? I don't know if you guys know, but basically the rabbits decided that when they lived in here, they wanted to have a tunnel straight through rather than having to walk around because they're lazy. So they chewed a hole and now it's just like a perfect piggy size hole. So when they come out here, it's really cute. Come on, The bunnies are just too hot. It is really warm in here to be fair. That's true love when they're cuddling in the boiling hot heat. <laughs> that is so cute. They seem to be really enjoying that. It's like the sort of weather where it's too hot to get on with anything, like, I don't know what to do. I mean, I've got cleaning to do in here. I've actually shut the guinea pigs out, because um, I was thinking about cleaning in here, but it's so hot, guys. I'm going to have to wait till it cools down a bit, then I can get on with doing stuff and being productive. It's like, I like it being warm, but you know when it gets too hot where you just can't really get on with anything? That's how I feel right now. Grandma's in his little man cave. Hello. You're nice and cosy down there. <laughs> Panda's just flopped over there. It's so cute. Oh, he just woke up, so his, his fur's all over the place. <laughs> you gotta jump up here. Oh, so, he's too tired to do anything. No, you just like to escape. This is sooty, like, that just perfectly explains sooty. He just, he just wants to escape. Would you like some of this fennel plant? <laughs> no, you are so fussy. What about... Oh, he's gone now. Okay, that was a bit of a fail. I'll put the ball there and you can you can decide what you want to eat. Nothing. Oh, do you like rosemary? I don't even know where he's... There he is. I think it's, it's maybe too strong. Do you like rosemary? No? Okay. <laughs> Look at my bedroom floor. It's covered in just plants. Shoot up plants. <laughs> I 
I don't know where Milo is. But so he's right there. Oh, he's so adorable. There he is. Oh, that's where his bed is. You look really comfy in that nest though. There he is. Oh, hello. Be nice. They always have to have a little fall, don't they? Oh, he's too tired. He can't reach. <laughs> You are sweet, you two. Hi, lovely. Mm. Wee. today's vlog i will see you guys tomorrow hopefully and i've got quite a lot of plans for this week so hopefully should be vlogging most days but don't quote me on that one i'll try my best see ya bye guys